Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at JSA and welcoming my good friend Zen, Zenefin Giannis, of course, the Vice President of Sales at Nexus Guard. Zen, welcome back to JSA TV. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Good, good. And big news. We just heard you announced a new partner program called TAP. Is that right? What we've done is... Uh basically focused, we've changed our strategy over the last year, and we're now focusing more on uh, ISPs and CSPs and helping enable them to uh, utilize our technology. So we've taken our software platform that we would use for ourselves to provide service to enterprise, and then turned it and focused it on the uh, the uh, service provider market. So anybody that sells or, or provides any kind of IP services and has sub-customers, this is something that we can enable them to uh, not only protect their existing revenue, but also um, add as, add services to their to their customers that they're asking for. A lot of the customers now, it's it's a need. Check the box. I need DDoS. So uh, it helps the service providers very quickly uh, meet that need. And let's let's break that down even to people, processes, and technology. How does the TAP program really elevate uh, these three elements? Sure. Well, on the people side, uh, we've got 12 years in the business fighting DDoS attacks, large ones, small ones, uh, across all the verticals and sectors. Uh, we have a SOC that's been, you know, just on 24-7 for the last 12 years uh, and sees all the attacks, zero day to the oldest ones, you know, that, you know, standard attacks that we should be able to uh, mitigate no problem. Uh, and part of the service that you get when you're become a Nexus Guard partner is you have access. To, so even though you might have your own SOC as an ISP, our people are right behind them. We're supporting your SOC uh, as second level support. So when they need to escalate a ticket, come straight to us. We'll even jump in and do all the mitigation for you and um, and show you exactly what what we've learned. Like, oh, this is the new attack. This is how it is. This is how you mitigate it. So you get that benefit of, of our people and our, uh, you know, intelligence and, and experience uh, process second yeah sorry uh, process would be basically the workflow of the, the product itself so we have um, you know with the platform there's a basic workflow that goes with it you know onboarding uh, ticketing implementation provisioning and then fully uh, um, you know in in service uh, for the customers and instead of having to create it yourselves, we kind of plug right into your existing billing system and you know, sales order system, things like that, and give you the process that goes along with it. Um, obviously we can customize it for you, but th the process that we've created has worked for us for 12 years. So uh, it's much easier for us to basically lend it to, the, to our customers as well so that they can hit the ground running. And the technology is the platform, right? So the, 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 the platform has been uh, uh, evolving over the last 12 years. Uh, we listen to our customers. We see what works, what doesn't work. We add features where it makes sense. Uh, as new attacks come in, as new needs come in in the marketplace, uh, you know, we adapt the, 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 the platform consistently. So once again, it's not like you, you're buying one you know, one piece of technology frozen in time that you're going to have to upgrade later. You're buying a service that that evolves with the market as well. So, um, you know, you don't really have to worry about it. Oh, am I out of date or how do I, you know, how do I deal with this now? So uh, that's the technology piece. And I'll say along with it, that, you know, if you looked at it holistically, uh, an example of this would be like, so on our most recent threat report for Q3, uh, we part of the the findings were that the um, bits and pieces attacks are very uh, detrimental to ISPs and service providers for the reason is uh, normally traditionally DDoS attacks are just a big flood at one IP and those are easier to find filter out and you know you're done with it uh, what's happening is they're injecting smaller groups of of traffic into a, a wide array of IP numbers. So they're they're going across your entire IP space and injecting, let's say, 100 megs here, 100 megs there, and it passes through your detection filters. So normal network traffic, it looks normal. It's not. When it kind of converges onto your onto your routers, 
uh, it's really maybe 10 gigs of, of, of traffic that kind of slipped through. So that's an issue right now. It's kind of the new trending um, dangerous attack. And if you're a, if you're a technology partner with, with Nexus Guard, you get the benefit of our SOC. We've already seen the attack. We know how to mitigate it. We know how to kind of identify it. And then if, if, if you become a, a, a customer that's actually, uh, we see the attack often, then we can create filters around it so that it will become detected more easily uh, and, and you don't even have to worry about it. So that's kind of like a real world example of how the, the, the people process technology works to benefit the, uh, the, the ISPs and CSPs. And, and certainly a reason to contact you guys sooner than later. Uh, knowing that these attacks are are, are happening and in, in so broadly across our marketplace. So how long does it take to implement a Nexus Guard DDoS mitigation program? Um, it, 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 it varies, but uh, on, the, on, the, on the basic level, it could be a couple of days if we're just doing a cloud network-based, uh, you know, BGP situation with tunnels, uh, or you're doing a reseller scenario, uh, all the way to it could be six months, you know, three to six months, depending. We're, we're shooting for three, most likely six, uh, to build a, whole, you know, ground zero DDoS pop that is, you know, X customer's own pop that has then the Nexus Card network behind it and the Nexus Card SOC and technology. But just to get the gear and, and set it all up and fine tune it, make sure the network's working, it could be about six months. So anywhere in between, and it depends what you buy. Some people start with the cloud and then transition to the, uh, to the to the larger pop, uh, uh, you know, if they see it's working and they see that that the customers really want it, uh, you know, a lot of times it's chicken and the egg. Like, how much money can we make if we implement this as a product? You know, so you know, then they get the budget and then they can then they can you know upgrade. So uh, and that and that range definitely makes sense, uh, particularly as you guys are so customer focused. So these solutions are really built for each client, which uh, which we love. So. You guys will be at PTC 20, obviously a huge event in our industry uh, for the telecom space. Uh, coming up uh, January 20th, it kicks off in Honolulu, no, no better place. Um, how can our viewers who are attending PTC 20 reach out to you guys and set up a meeting? Um, the, the traditional ways, I mean, obviously, I think we're going to have a link with you uh, on your, on your uh, newsletter and feed on the website or you know, subscribe below. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then, uh, um, or through the meeting maker or through sales at nexusguard.com, um, um, or just stop by our booth. We, we, we don't have a, a booth per se or a, a room. We just have the cabana down by the top of bar, which is hard to miss us. So, uh, at the bare minimum, if you're walking by, just, you know, drop a card and say, Hey, we'd like to talk. And then we'll have somebody follow up and set your meeting. And, it, and it's great that you guys got those cabanas. They are in huge demand. There's only a few of them. And the Tapas Bar is definitely the place where all the action happens. So you guys got a key location there for sure. <laughs> yeah. Talking from a, a PTC alumni <laughs> perspective. But, exactly. Right. Um, Zen, always a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all your insight and those, those reports that you guys do really benefit us uh, as, uh, as an industry. So thank you for all your fine work there and for keeping us safe uh, while uh, those, those attacks keep, keep on uh, getting more and more clever. <laughs> they always uh, seem to, to try to outsmart and you guys uh, defending us makes me sleep better at night for sure. So thank you for all you do. Thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.